He's known as a hare hound. He's a heckler out of bristles. A brush bristled cormorant. That's what he is. The fibre is piaçava, which once came from Brazil as a packing for sugar cases. Like the ration, it has to suffer some very severe cuts. A hundred years ago, that fibre was wasted until it was tried out for brushes by a Londoner, Thomas Hanks. Combed and sorted, the fibre is cut into lengths for mixing. Some will finish up as scrubbing brushes, others as brooms. Note the white fibre. It's Tampico from Mexico, one of the many fibres which go into an ordinary scrubbing brush. Darwin grass from Australia, brown palmyra from the eastern coast of India. From the four corners of the earth come these different fibres to be graded and mixed, cleaned and combed in machines so ingenious that never, once you've watched them, can you fail to see a touch of romance in a commoner garden domestic brush. Wood from the beech trees of the Chilterns is used for the stock or back of the brush. And here we see a labour-saving machine which pours the holes in the back 20, 50 or more at a time. Seven million holes of many different sizes are filled with bristles in this one British factory each week. The tufts or knots of bristles are pressed home and anchored by wire staples at a rate of 140 a minute. It's a marvel of precision engineering. Now for the round bits that fit into those square corners. So accurate are these machines that each hole is filled with exactly the same amount of fibre to exactly the same depth with finished tufts of the same height. Boot brushes as well as scrubbing brushes come from this same factory and large numbers are exported. But which country takes most exports? Nigeria, where mostly they walk barefooted. Mm -hmm. 